Um, I have the pleasure to be here with the Gregor Podnar um, from the ga gallery Gregor Podnar in Vienna and I'm absolutely delighted because my project, my video magazine started in Vienna. Welcome in Artissima. Thank you. Oh, I would like to know your impressions and your takes on this experience and I would like also to know a little bit uh, uh, on the pieces in these spaces. Yeah, actually, we are from Vienna only from this year because 14 years long we've been to Berlin. I mean, we have our gallery in Berlin. And here in uh, Artissima, in Torino, we are since 2003 with a few breaks. So that means our experience of the Guernese uh, art scene and particularly the art fair is already for some, some time. Um, this year, of course, like as the last year, is of course not the easy, easiest times. But I have to say that the mood is quite well, that we have like nice people here at the booth, very interested, also good collectors and uh, generally very nice art public. This is of course only the first, the second day, but we hope that things will go the best. Yes, the for days. sure. You have a, such an amazing piece this yes. year works. Uh, I will start with this that catches my my yes, the, the work which you see here in front is a work by Nobuko Tsuchiya. Japanese artist, with whom actually I discovered her work in Artissima a few years ago with one oh. of her uh, London uh, colleague, uh, Anthony Reynolds. So this is, I mean, it's not by chance that uh, Nobuko Tsuchiya is back to Italy, back to uh -huh. the uh, Artissima yeah. affair. And uh, that's like, yeah, this is like a, a very fresh work, of course, which just comes uh, directly from Japan. Then in the back you see like the work of uh, of Anne Neukamp. She's uh, that one. She's okay. like the two paintings which you see there. The the, the one of on the on, on you this can side turn, uh, is you like can... is like the uh, is like brand new. It's like just that done this year, particularly also just before the fair. Um, Anne Neukamp is a painter who is uh, teaching also in Dresden, and I worked with her since many years. Um, you see also like on the other side another work of, of, of hers. She's using elements which you might see also like in the digital world and is transforming and also working with that in the medium of painting and, and old painting. The next work which you see is of Lide Kiefer. It's an artist who passed away in 2004. Okay. So you see here it's like we have like a, a mix or a kind of a, of a juxtaposition of living artist and of um, of uh, artists who passed away. Um, I want to uh, ask you, Gregor Potner, uh, what do you think on the uh, upcoming uh, uh, era on, of the digital art and how can you handle uh, the both pressures? I mean, the traditional market rather than the NFT market? Yeah, I would say it's always a question of quality and not of media. You know, like we have, for instance, electronic media since Junyam Jump Bike and other people of the 50s, or even earlier, you could say. Even you have, for instance, electronic uh, uh, work as from, from the point when, when for instance, like uh, electric light was invented. Uh, so on the other hand, of course, if you mention digital digital art, this is also something which exists already since since the case. Oh. Since we have like besides the analog, we have the digital mediums and so on. And of course, there is like this uh, NFTs, which is a new a new way of communication communicating. It has just to be the way that the quality of art uh, finds its place in whatever medium. I've noticed now on your business card that you are located at Volksgardenstrafe, the glorious uh, uh, area in uh, beautiful, beautiful. I, uh, I'm used to hang out there a lot. There is a great park. Yes, the museum, uh, the museum quartier is just 200 meters. Yeah, so I know. Happy, yeah. So, thank you so much for this conversation.
good luck for this uh, experience and I hope to see you soon in Vienna. Thank you.